Welcome to the Metals 100 coverage at the PDAC 2024 in Toronto, Canada. We have Osprey Advanced Materials here with us today. Hi, Alex, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks for having me. Yes, and maybe you can just start off by just giving us a, a brief overview about your company, Osprey Advanced Materials. Sure. Osprey is a private uh, mineral exploration company based in uh, Toronto. We uh, are focused on our flagship project, the uh, Titan VTM project, which is about six hour drive from, Pier from Toronto Pearson Airport or an hour and a half drive from uh, North Bay. The uh, project was originally discovered in the 1940s uh, when there was a high demand for iron ore and uh, titanium. It sat the dormant for a better part of the uh, century and was picked up by, uh, by private companies and prospectors in uh, late uh, 1990s and uh, early 2000s. We owned the project for about eight months and in a short time we've been able to accomplish several important milestones and are very excited to showcase our fantastic deposit and its potential to the world. Great to hear. So can you talk a bit more about the two main metals of your focus here, titanium and vanadium, in this primary use in the mm -hmm. industry? Because we haven't come across that uh, in this conference so far, you are the only one that explore on titanium and vanadium together. The uh, project has actually three elements. It's iron ore, titanium and uh, vanadium, all of which are, are fairly important, with iron being the more understood one. So the titanium and vanadium are both uh, considered uh, critical uh, minerals um, by the uh, provincial and also the uh, federal government in uh, Canada. And uh, they have uh, a number of uses that, um, that, that, that um, require their designation to be uh, critical. So the titanium, the uh, main use uh, for today is the uh, pigments uh, paint industry, although there's a, a number of other important industrial uses that uh, without which everyday life would be very uh, difficult. Vanadium, the, um, uh, the main use today is primarily in the uh, steel making and tool making uh, industries, uh, as well as the uh, aerospace industry. But what excites us the most is, is actually the um, uh, potential of the redox flow, uh, vanadium redox flow batteries market, which is uh, a relatively uh, um, new market, but uh, it is uh, forecasted to grow exponentially over the next uh, several uh, several years, reaching as much as $1.3 billion market um, in, um, in 20, uh, uh, 2023, sorry, 2033. The uh, vanadium redox flow batteries is a, a novel technology. And if I was to make, make a comparison, the, um, uh, the uh, lithium, for example, is a pre predominantly consumer-focused uh, battery mineral, whereas vanadium is an industrial-focused in uh, battery mineral. And um, the vanadium redox flow batteries are, uh, uh, are going to be used in the, a lot of the critical infrastructure projects and uh, store off-grid, uh, store off-peak grid um, power um, that is uh, that needs to be stored in order to maintain the uh, grid efficiency. So there is, uh, we, we foresee as uh, the uh, energy becomes scarce and uh, more expensive, the uh, storing the uh, energy is going to be just as important as producing it. Okay, so let's focus a bit about your uh, Titan uh, VTM deposit there. It has a historical resource, so, so what, what do you think of the potential of this project, Henry? The uh, Titan VTM project, so the um, the main deposit zone is located entirely on patented claims and uh, the resources estimate is based on the drilling that was done by uh, one of the previous owners in early 2000s it uh, delineated a 40 uh, 46 million ton uh, resource grading about 48 percent iron 15 percent titanium and about quarter percent uh, vanadium the uh, the Deposit is believed to be of high quality, mainly because the uh, 46 million tons is based on a fairly high cutoff of 40% uh, FeO, uh, uh, FeO2. The expansion potential is, uh, is, is in the main zone as well as on the rest of the property. So our total land package is about uh, 5,600 uh, hectares in the, in the district, of which about 300 hectares is a patent that claims underlying the Titan BTM deposit. We, uh, in, the, in, the, in the coming year, we plan to uh, sink a, a few drill holes into the uh, project to, uh, to uh, do some step-out drilling to uh, do low-hanging fruit expansion. And we believe that 
we can easily uh, add some uh, uh, several tons to our resource uh, in a relatively low cost fashion. Uh, that doesn't uh, um, also include any other potential and other zones which have never been drill tested or uh, even prospected in, in some uh, cases. So it's very exciting and uh, we, uh, we're very excited about having been able to acquire this project and also uh, have this as um, um, a linchpin for making, uh, for creating shareholder value. So you're undergoing an RTO transaction with Metalite Resources. So what's the timeline we're looking at and, and what's your overall planning after that? What's the next move in the next, let's say, 12, 18, 24 months onwards? The, um, the deal with the Metalite Resources, which was announced in uh, late uh, January, is, um, uh, is pl planned to be a reverse takeover of uh, Osprey by uh, Metalite uh, Resources. So we are in the process of uh, conducting uh, an $800,000 private placement at the moment to uh, close the transaction, uh, which is the minimum amount that we need to raise, although um, we, uh, we, we are planning to potentially expand the uh, financing uh, based on demand. Um, the, uh, the, deal, uh, the deal timeline is roughly uh, three to four months, so we, uh, we, we believe that by the, end of, um, by the end of March we should have a good idea on the status of the financing and uh, uh, shortly the, thereafter proceed to uh, closing the uh, transaction. But in, ter in terms of the uh, key catalysts that we foresee uh, for 2024, there are several. So aside from, uh, from the, um, the, the uh, drilling and the uh, geophysics uh, work programs that we have planned, we, uh, we're also excited about our uh, partnership with our uh, aggregates partner who uh, has recently um, uh, helped with uh, upgrading the uh, trail and also conducting some uh, tests on the uh, materials at, at the uh, property. So that alone can, uh, can generate some significant milestones as well as the, uh, uh, all the great things we have planned for the company. So how does Allspreys uh, become unique or stand out among your peers with some of the companies exploring similar metals in the region? There are several uh, key advantages to, uh, uh, to, uh, to our uh, Titan BTM project. So first of all, we are, are um, very close to the infrastructure, which is enormously important for uh, for bulk type uh, projects focused on iron ore or uh, titanium. We're about three and a half kilometers away from a power line and about 10 kilometers away from uh, a major regional uh, railroad. As I also mentioned, uh, uh, our access road has recently been uh, upgraded and uh, we uh, are lo located close to the um, uh, to key hubs that employ a lot of people in the mineral processing and the exploration industry. The um, other the other key the differentiator is the, uh, the quality of our deposit. So we have fairly high grades and uh, the, uh, the model of the deposit is such that uh, the um, quality is evident when uh, somebody looks at, at some of the modeling that we have done. And uh, we've also been fiscally responsible in, uh, in carrying the uh, project through and uh, operating the company. And we believe that uh, we, um, we want to continue to do that and to uh, achieve best, uh, most optimal shareholder value for our shareholders. So thank you for your time with us. See you today, Alex. Thanks for having me. I appreciate okay. it. Thank you.